Well, what about the ethics and the efficacy of a prophylactic double mastectomy for breast cancer prevention? Um, does it make a difference overall? A recent study showed that it really doesn't change the survival rate. And the reason for that is that a woman who's at high risk, who's being followed so closely, who's having mammograms and maybe MRIs of the breast, the cure rate for those women is about 96 or 97 percent. And so therefore removing the breast tissue changes a very small risk of dying of breast cancer. But that's not why women choose the option. It's to avoid the anxiety, the countless biopsies, the worry, living from mammogram to mammogram, from MRI to MRI, to avoid the eventuality of breast cancer treatment. And so the studies have been interpreted as saying, this operation is unnecessary. I completely disagree, that's, that's not correct. And high-risk women sitting in front of us would yell and scream, wait a minute, I have a right not to go through breast cancer. I have a right to remove it from my plate. That's really what the debate is about. And it's not 100% effective, but it lowers it a well, very significant. Yeah, that's, again, the critics of the operation have said that, but the numbers are stunning. The average U.S. woman who lives to be 80 mm -hmm. has a 10% chance of getting breast cancer. These women with BRCA1 or BRCA2 have a 70, 80, 90 percent chance, the operation reduces the risk to 1 percent or less. Yeah. So some people have chosen to refer to this as a risk-reducing mastectomy. I'm fine with that. The reduction is profound. 